and then a 0.3 megapixel depth sensor. And as I mentioned before, this camera, like how much better of a camera can you get? This was, I think, the best camera last year. I think it was better than the iPhones. There are some areas where those phones are better, but this camera by far is an amazing camera. First of all, starting off with the basic functionality, you have that triple camera setup. I think that depth lens, okay, it's great and all. I'm never really going to use it too much, but the fact that it does have that triple camera setup, the wide, ultra wide and telephoto allows you to do a bunch of different functionality on this specific device but you did also have that periscope telephoto lens which allowed you to zoom in a crazy amount it was four times optical and then 10 times hybrid zoom and i used it and it's crazy how much you could zoom in so that camera is a crazy good camera for sure on top of that not only can you do you know 4k 60 which is expected because the predecessor could do that but you can also do 8k videos on this thing now this was, I think, one of the first I, first phones in general to shoot 8K videos, and that is an insanely cool functionality that you have on this device. The fact that you can go ahead and just use this phone as you would, but just having that 8K capability is seriously something that's really, really awesome. A lot of phones still don't have it, and this phone came out last year. I think, I don't know if this was the first iPhone or first phone to bring it, but it was something that was so cool, and I'm so glad this phone actually brought that functionality. On the front, you have that 40 megabyte pixel lens you could do 4k at 60 on that as well and the front camera i think is great but i don't know why a lot of these apps that take you know front camera videos and photos things like snapchat instagram these apps still just don't work too well with the front camera of these android devices i don't understand it i never will understand it but these manufacturers of these apps really need to step it up and make these Android devices a little bit better when it comes down to the front camera. The back camera though is great on this thing and the front camera is great as well, but I can definitely tell you by far this is still a solid camera and it probably will still beat a lot of phones that come out this year as well in terms of a camera standpoint. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers up that specific aspect. Now we